Losing a child at birth is so sad, and it can be so tough on many levels, including what to do with the nursery you prepared. In Cocado, an emotional surprise for a still grieving mother, the crib once meant for her baby boy, has a new purpose. Here's Fox 9's Rob Wilson. This is Noah when he came out. For most of Valerie Watts' pregnancy, her son Noah was developing just fine until the final few days. Oh, all week. I knew. He wasn't moving as much. I was very nervous. His umbilical cord had become pinched in the womb, and Noah was stillborn. Right. But you hadn't planned to sell the crib? Nope. You were going to hold on to it? Yes. But tell me why. I don't know. Since last July, when she lost him, she'd been holding on to his crib, not ready to part with it, but still a bit of an open wound to keep it. She was kind of hesitant. I knew that, well, maybe she didn't want to sell it, but yet she did. A few miles away on the outskirts of Cocado. This is my quad cycle that I'm making out of PVC pipe. Gerald kumpula has got a workshop in his garage, and one of the things he's been tinkering with lately... This will also make a nice bench. ...is converting headboards and footboards into benches. When he asked me if I was selling that, that he made benches, I hesitated. He'd spotted the crib at Valerie's garage sale in April, and even though the crib wasn't technically part of the sale, she eventually agreed to sell it. And he had no idea until after he'd loaded it into his truck what had happened. His wife was there looking through my garage sale at some of the baby clothes and asked how old my son was since I don't use the crib anymore, and the clothes were little, and I told her that he had passed in July. And then we decided on our way home that, you know, this bench is going back. This is the backboard of the crib. So a week later, in total surprise to Valerie, he returned with the converted crib and gave it back. I started crying instantly. A random act of kindness to turn something that was painfully unused into something comforting. It's fun to, to be able to do something. It's amazing. And there's good people out there. There's proof. In Cocado, Robelson, Fox 9 News.